to get these. They're Prada. Yes. Okay. you guys on Instagram about things that you've been trying to thrift like maybe things that you just want in general and you know you can find it at the thrift store but you're having trouble finding them I'm gonna give you guys some of my secrets I have some sections that I look in for some of these things we're gonna do a couple like little minor thrift flips like tweaks and stuff like that to transform pieces into what you want them to be there will also be a giveaway in this video too so I'm gonna look for something good hot spicy do you hear it no music. I'm sure that's going to change in a couple minutes, but let's enjoy it while we can. <laughs> it is so beautifully stocked. That is me in a nutshell today. <laughs> Activewear was a section I used to always skip over because I was like, ugh, kind of kind of nasty, I'm not gonna lie. I found that tennis skirts make the absolute best black mini skirts. These aren't black, but hello, how cute. This is literally perfect. Everything is perfect. The length, the waistband, the stretch, the shorts. Just on the other side, we have activewear bottoms, which I'm gonna show you guys a little hack when we get home on how to create those IMG at Duke pants. I didn't expect to find like literally everything in this section, but some of you guys asked about vintage sweatshorts, which is a huge trend right now, and also just makes sense because everyone's so used to wearing sweatpants at home. Little hack, again, so easy to make. So we're gonna grab these today because they're by an amazing brand, Cotton Ginny. I think you guys know what we're gonna do through these, right? Like you know by now, you already know. Okay, so I love a vintage BCBG moment. See, the normal skirt section, not quite what we were looking for. So I usually score pretty big in this section and I really have to narrow it down to what I actually want. Kind of harder to find the mesh blouses. Sometimes you need to look in the long sleeves. I feel like Sarah a year ago would have bought this, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we are just getting lucky today in this section. For some reason, they're all $8. So Hawaiian print I am obsessed with and it's definitely pretty easy to find in like the spring summer dress section. I'm still in awe that there's no music. It's kind of getting awkward almost, but I guess I should take advantage of it. Is this cute? No. <laughs> no. Another thing you could do though, if you're not into sleeves, you could always get the sleeves removed. That's a good little life hack. This is the moment of truth. Pants. I'm excited. t-shirts like this one which I regret wearing because I already got asked if I was a Lakers cheerleader today <sighs> anyway so I'm gonna look in the kids extra large shirts because I often never find anything in the women's it's just full of like old run t-shirts this is perfect um okay they're in a nine, but I think they're cool. They're $7.99. Those are pretty cool. Are in a nine, nine and a half. <gasps> oh, those are perfect. This is the best thing You think ever. I should get these? They're Prada. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Just confirming. Oh, what's that one right there? Look. Right this? Back to one back. because it helps me do a buttons and stuff like that. So if you're wondering, shout out Rebecca. Okay, this is the giveaway item. It's so cute, but not for $8. I'm really trying to not spend $300 this time. If you guys saw, you saw. Wasn't quite as much as our last trip. 
Got the giveaway though. Got the receipt though. Shall we start off with the bag that I scored for my sister? So the first thing was this little cute suede, very boho 70s bag, 1049. <laughs> These sandals are incredible. Kind of jealous. Let's just let's just see if they fit me. Cause I don't know, Becky, I might be. <sighs> yeah, she's lucky. These don't. These don't cut it even with socks on. These, can't see a brand on these, but they were $11.99. $14.99, these are really nice Calvin Klein. Definitely from the 90s, well-loved sandals, and they have like a double strap going on, so those are perfect. And then I'm big into clogs. I know they're not everyone's speed quite yet, but these were $8, brand new again, and I just, I convinced her to get them, and she was, she was convinced by the end of the call anyways, because like, look how freaking dope those are. They're nice and light too, and just like a perfect, slip on shoe so shout out to becky the only person that i will be doing personal thrift shopping for now on to what i got and what i got from you guys because i created this fun little spacey giveaway because i'm just really enjoying thrifting for you not just me because i have way too much stuff already so these are by the brand franco sarto and just into this like old italian vibe i heard Devin talking about it on a live that she did and they described it as like vintage Italian chic and that is so on the point. It reminds me of the Lizzie McGuire movie. So I thought these were super fun. They'll go well with like that red and white and black jacket that I have. I also found these Massimo sandals. How freaking cute. Like I wish this part was visible because that's probably the cutest part. I think they'll look super good once I'm able to get a pedicure. So quickly into a couple home things. I've been wanting a smiley face mug for the longest time. So I found this one for $2.99 and I'm so excited because it's like nice and big. Definitely fit all my coffee needs. Definitely with home stuff, it is key to hold out until you find what you want because there's nothing worse than home clutter. You guys know I've been searching for martini glasses and I wanted to wait until I found ones that just were calling to me. And you guys, we found them. Cheers to that. So I did score something from Prada and these might be hideous, but also at the same time, I'm kind of like seeing how these can be played into the summer looks this year. So I remember when this Prada style was huge and these are just like the slip on loafers that I guess have been pretty popular for the last few years in terms of like Gucci doing them and all that kind of stuff. And I'm very big into orange. I just need to figure out how to wear these. I knew if I left them behind for $14, I'd be pretty upset about it. So I got them. Leave me your suggestions down below. Are these hideous? Did I make the biggest thrifting financial decision of my life? Or, you know what, no, they're gonna be great. So a couple personal items that didn't really have to do with anything, but I've been wanting a pair of overalls ever since I saw the new Urtsia collection. I don't know, something just like pulled me into the look again. And I found these ones by Silver Tab, which is an amazing vintage label, or Silver Jeans. If you ever see it, make sure you guys snag it. A whopping $10, so that is an incredible steal for some vintage overalls. And I've been looking for more like low-rise bootcut flare jeans. These ones are only $6.99, brandless. But they have that like Y2K kind of like grainy denim texture going through it. And I just thought that these could be kind of cool and a nice lighter wash for spring. Okay, let's sneak at the giveaway here real quick. These are things that I just, I wanted to pick up, but I, I didn't have any reason to like keep them in my own collection. So I found this really cute little like bowling style, almost Von Detch inspo Las Vegas purse. This one was $5.99. Got that as item number one, and this will all be in like a bundle. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram, comment, do the whole thing. Make sure you're subscribed, coming back every week because next week I will announce the winner. So also throwing in this little tank top. It was $3.50. This one's in a size large. It's by the brand Lacenza, the candy collection. And I just am obsessed with this. If it was in my size, I'm not gonna lie. I would be keeping her. I figured if this one doesn't fit you, you can give it to a friend or sell it on your Depop, get that coin. I'm not gonna judge you. And then the last item, a little expensive, you guys. I did it for you. More expensive than the prod shoes, but I'm giving it to you. This one was $30 and it is an incredible, immaculate, size small Ford Mustang jacket. I'm pretty sure this is a men's small, so It'll probably fit up to like a woman's large, I want to say. It's not like super oversized, but I will have it tried on so you guys can see. But again, please, anyone feel free to enter if you want to win this and give it to someone. Just, you know, be a great person. <laughs> and I'm totally down for that too. But this jacket is in mint condition. So tempted again to keep it for myself, but I already have a couple of these. All the details on how to enter will be down below. Now on to what you guys recommended me thrifting. So I got pretty lucky. I'm not even going to lie with the mesh blouses. That was a big one. 
obviously Jean-Paul Gaultier and all that kind of stuff is super popular right now, but I just find a mesh blouse super flattering. If you guys want, you know, screenshot these brands, look them up on eBay, look them up on Threadup, Poshmark, Depop, whatever it is, because I'm sure you guys can find some stuff. So this one's Essentials by Milano. $8 for this guy right here. I don't understand why blouses are always so expensive at Valley Village. Manda Collection. So just the simple names, just giving you the good stuff. And it's got like some ruching up the front too, which I think is super flattering. We'll be able to visualize this one better on. Oh, one last thing I picked up for myself. So I found this little Gap tank top, 249, just a good basic. I don't know, my white tank tops get so beat up so easily. So whenever I find one that looks like a good fit and a good material, I generally snag it. So in terms of little t-shirts, I got really lucky with like this one and then some of the other ones that I wear. I really don't take them for granted when I find a good fitting like mini t-shirt because they are quite hard to come by so you know no hate to the people in Depop selling them for a lot of money because they are kind of rare so just just stating the truth here the kids section generally does have a pretty good selection obviously don't take from a section if there's not a ton of it there's so much in the kids section at the thrift store that I go to and I literally only ever pick up like one thing once a month at max it's not my go-to but I happened to find this shirt for $3.99 and I just thought it was very fitting for the channel, you know, the motto. I find it ironic when uh, brands greenwash and <laughs> do stuff like this on fast fashion t-shirts, but you know what, we thrifted it and it's literally a kid's t-shirt, so no one needs to know, but I think this is gonna be super cute. You can always crop these, do whatever you want to them. You guys, if you are not already looking in the athletic wear skirt section, then you must. I think I'm actually gonna throw this into the giveaway too, because I don't really know why I picked it up. I already have a good black skirt, but this one was $8. I believe it's by the Champion brand, yep. Yeah. It is, and it's got a sport built in, and these are the skirts that look so good, just with like these blousy tops and everything, cause they just lay perfectly on your body. I think it's something to do with the material, like it's kind of heavy, but not floofy and not too thick. So honestly, it's kind of like my go-to hack. Cute dresses, summer dresses, obviously we see like Realization Par. We don't all have the coin for those dresses. Sometimes I think I'm gonna buy one and then I have to reality check myself. I like to go look through the dresses at the thrift store, of course, and find the $11 deals like this one right here. This one is super cute. It is an amazing Hawaiian pattern, which is definitely going to be in for summer. And I might, depending on how this looks on, I might literally just take my scissors to it and crop off this like frilly bottom layer because that's not always my style, but more of an A-line fit is. Oh, wait. Oh no, she is not going anywhere because it's discovered she has a ruching. She has a ruching tie. So this is gonna be stunning on it, I can already tell. Wet shorts. These are sweatpants. I have not lost my mind, but the easiest way to get yourself sweat shorts because they weren't such a big trend in the past is to make your own. And of course that requires like something that is already made because we don't do any DIYs from scratch over here. But finding a pair of good sweatpants is key. The wash on these is amazing. Looks like a lot of the like Aritzia styles and Mad Happy styles that are so freaking overpriced that you see on the internet. They even have really good waistband and they're 100% cotton, I believe, which is gonna be the easiest to cut. You guys were talking about the IMG of like the flossy pants, the flossy look. Again, something that's super easy to DIY and you don't need to spend so, so, so much money on it. So my little hack, I actually posted a reel on it not too long ago, is where you take the string, the existing string in some sweatpants or like these, do we call them, like what do we call these? Yoga kind of pants, I guess you could say, like yoga active wear pants. That's what we're gonna call them. And you just literally tie it, you crisscross it and then you tie it in the back. So super simple and if the string is not long enough, you can always add in a string or replace the string as well. You're just gonna need like a safety pin and some patience. Almost forgot my little goodie bag. So of course colorful jewelry has been so in and I've gotta say you guys, I'm not into the Momonzo chunky rings. I just think they're a big fad and waste of money, but I am a fan of like a subtle pop of color in your jewelry routine. So I decided to pick up this ring. I think it's really pretty. It's like a green stone and how cute does that look with my nails right now? This was definitely worth the $2 that I spent on it. And then for beaded jewelry and necklaces, I just think that finding these like vintage slash like early 2000s gemstone pieces is super fun. But stuff like this is so freaking cute and dainty and just with a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans and like these sandals, you have a complete look and it really did not take much effort whatsoever. Definitely look in your jewelry section right now. These were $3 and $2. That is it for this haul. I'm so excited. I bought such good 
array of things here and as I mentioned, next week is my birthday thrift with me, so leave me your recommendations down below. What should I do for the big day? I can't do much, but you know what? We're gonna make the most out of it. I'm gonna have a thrift extravaganza again. Enter the giveaway, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.